Hello, everybody. Happy Monday, and welcome to Bachelor Nation News. It's stand-up comedian Dave Neal here, and we've got Caitlin Bristow interviewed by Us Weekly describing Michelle's current scenario with Nate and Brandon and saying she's genuinely in love with two people. Yikes. How do you go from in love with two people to uh, getting engaged from there? We'll have to see how it all plays out. There's no spoilers in this video. There's no spoilers in the comment section. If you spoil anything, you just get blocked. That's how it works. Do me a favor. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We, uh, I've always said we're inching our way to 50,000 subscribers, but we're actually getting there very quickly. This morning, we passed Nick Vial and subscribers uh, with 49,500. And if you look at the live look right here, we're actually at 49,682. We, we may hit 50,000 tomorrow you guys just keep subscribing and i'm gonna need to know who do we want to come for next in bachelor nation with regards to uh overtaking subscriber size we just passed nick vial like i said i think the next person up is shared news if you look at shared news here i'm in blue they're in red i've got 1.31 million views this month they've got 642,000, but they've got 76,000 subscribers how does that even work out I don't know how that works out. So why don't we come for them next? Why don't we overtake shared news with 76,000 subscribers? I'm not saying that they uh, are copying what we do over here on the channel, but I will say their thumbnails uh, look identical to what we make. So anyways, like I said, I'm not saying they're ripping me off, but we're moving on. All right, so let's get into this. Play Caitlin Bristow. Do I sound salty? I'm not. It's all fun. It's all in good fun. Nothing has made you guys rally around the cause more than posting this graphic. I mean, you guys are subscribing at alarming rates. 2022 is going to be a fun year. Hopefully, we'll have to see how it goes. It's been a couple of rough years for us. Let's get into this interview. Hopefully, we can make our way through it all. All of the things. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be hard to watch. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be sad. It's... She's describing my sex tape. Okay. All the things that the you'd want to see in a finale, but I mean, she really genuinely is in love with two people. Michelle's finale is next week. Can you tell me anything, tease to me anything about what we're going to get in the, the final <sighs> three hours? I mean, she's, you know, back in the day on these shows, we used to be like, I can't believe they're in love with more than one person. And they said it. Michelle is just like, she is so strong in who she is. And... She's like, no, if I'm in love with two people, I'm in love with two people. I didn't think it would happen, but it did. So I think we're, it's it's going to be really hard for her no matter what the outcome, because she genuinely is in love with two people. So it's going to be all of the things. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be hard to watch. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be sad. It's all the things that the you'd want to see in a finale. But I mean... She really genuinely is in love with two people. Now, I'm not, I'm not bored at Caitlyn in general, but as a company man, company woman that she is here, it's like she's like paid to promote the fight. You know, she's the fight promoter. Yeah, but uh, by all means, will after the final rose be super boring? I don't have any, like I said, spoiler wise, we've heard who may win, who may not win. I don't know how it ends. I really, truly don't know how it ends. But um, some people, some people have alluded to it being a wild after the rose ceremony we'll have to see i mean you know it could it could just be a very bland ending to a season where she finds love and that's it and you know, that's good for michelle if she finds love but uh, not good for the tea of which we are thirsting i remember the last time the final three i would even say was so in love with the lead yeah yeah that's i mean i'm kind of in love with michelle <laughs> she's amazing <laughs> you see, yeah, I, know. I think that's a, the bachelor nation consensus Totally. She's just so, she's easy to love. She's just a great human being and she's just truly authentic and confident and comfortable in herself. And it's just, it's really nice to see. Was After the Final Rose live? Can you tell me that? I don't know. It's going to be, yeah. Uh... It's going to be live. Okay. Whoa, Ooh, that's hold exciting. on. I didn't know this. After the Final Rose is live? Oh, so we really don't know what's going to go down. And this is good because like they get, she gets a month to meet people. Then she maybe gets engaged, maybe doesn't. And then whatever happens in that gray area, we just assume, oh, things are easy peasy. No, she's back to school. Uh, it's been rumored certain contestants are living with each other. Does that mean they're sing single? We're reading into so many different things. We're going to find out when we find out tomorrow. I feel like I'm so scared. <laughs> Why are you scared? I mean... Caitlin on live national television, what could go wrong? <laughs> I think that'll be good because then like for the mental health, for example, I feel like people were, you know, just people can be critical or like there was that awkward moment with like Tasha and her breakup and stuff. And there was a lot of talk right. about that. And I think you thrive live personally. 
Oh, well, thank you for saying that. I'm I, it's I'm okay with it being live because I've done Dancing with the Stars live. I've done other Bachelor things that are live. It's more of reading like the teleprompter and doing the like <laughs> right. the real host moments where I'm like, don't screw it up, Caitlin. In the most recent episode, also we had Brandon kind of sneak in there and get a little extra time with Michelle before yeah. that rose ceremony. I feel like some people were like, justice for Joe. Like, did that change her mind? Other people are like, I'm sure she had it made up anyway. Right. From your perspective, what did you think of the Brandon, the Brandon pull aside at the rose ceremony? Oh, what that pull meant for aside. Joe? Brandon is just such a sweetheart who wears his heart on his sleeve. He is so open with his emotions that I think he genuinely wanted to tell her, like, it's okay if it's not me, because he was putting her first and worried about her stressing out. And I think when you walk into that moment and you're looking at those final three men, I'm sure you know right. who it is that it might not make a difference in that moment. Now it might, but I don't think it did in that moment. So um, I was shocked actually when, when Joe went home. Uh, but again, she just had such strong relationships with all three men that I would have been shocked no matter who went. Yeah, I think that's fair. With Nate, because I feel like he's, controversial is not the right word, but people maybe a little split on him. Some yeah. may be questioning, is she more into Nate than he is? Is he saying what she wants to hear? As someone who was there, you know, for part, at least part of it, what are your thoughts on Nate? How do you think Nate yeah. and Michelle would work in the in the real world? I mean, Nate is <laughs> Nate's a funny character because he's just like he really is so chill and laid back. And I think Nate just really is confident in his relationship with Michelle and where they're at at this point. And I think he just his confidence is different than the others. He will not. It's almost like he can compartmentalize what is happening and the show that he's on. And it's so interesting because we watch the show and people can't, you know, it, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Because if you can't handle Michelle going in the fantasy suite with the other people, then people at home are going, well, you knew what you signed up for and you know, you know what show you're on. And then if you sit there and you can compartmentalize and say, yeah, I know what show I'm on and I'm going to be confident in my relationship and I'm not going to get in my own head about it. Well, then you're cocky and you might not care enough. So I think he is just uh, has a different confidence about him and knows where he's at with Michelle. Do you think he's ready for an engagement? I do. I think I think Nate would be ready for I think Nate's never in his life thought about being ready for an engagement until now. Mm -hmm. And I just think Nate's the kind of person that if he isn't ready, he's not going to propose. There it is, folks. Caitlin Bristow doing the Lord's work over there. Really, uh, a really good job over there kind of getting her points across. Giving both guys a fighting shot. We'll have to see how it plays out. Now, if they're going to be doing this live, I wonder if they'll have a studio audience. Obviously, we know Omicron's uh, getting in the way of a lot of things. And also, President Biden, as we announced earlier, will be uh, giving a presidential address tomorrow on Tuesday regarding new pandemic measures. Will that get in the way of them airing the finale? Maybe. What I've been told is in the past, when there has been um, a delay uh, due to a presidential speech, they'll just pick up where they left off. They're not going to cut the finale. They'll just push back the local news afterwards. Either way, it's going to be a three-hour live stream. I'll be with you guys one hour beforehand, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. East Coast. I'll also be with you guys at least one hour afterwards, East Coast and West Coast, which is going to be a late night. That's 11 p.m. East Coast or whenever the show ends, if there's a breakage due to the speech. And then that'll be 11 p.m. West Coast, which is 2 a.m. East Coast. If you want to get weird with me, I'm going to be drinking peppermint, uh, mint, uh, Christmas flavored beer. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be a ton of fun. If you want to join me today, Monday, for a Christmas themed live stream, I'll be on my vlog channel, Dave Neal Vlogs, and I'm gonna be going live at 4 p.m. Pacific time doing some gift wrapping. I'm just gonna play some Christmas music, talk to you guys, and wrap some presents. You can have a uh, hot cider, a spiked eggnog, or any non alcoholic beverage you want. You can join us there. That's at Dave Neal Vlogs, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you aren't caught up, go check out some of these videos. I've been releasing a video every single day of December. You're dang right, we are gonna pass these other uh, contestant, you know, these other channels out here with their dozens of employees and graphic artists. Who are we? We're Dave and you guys are going to uh, be supportive because you've been amazing this whole year. Thank you guys so much. We will talk to you all in a little bit. Bye now.